Hey guys, welcome to How To Be Fancy. Today I thought I would show you how I get these messy kind of waves. This is the look that I generally wear on days when I'm not doing a more retro or pinup look. So starting with wet hair, I'm just gonna let that down and then I'm gonna take this conditioning mist by Verb. First I'm gonna take the glasses off. And this is just a leave-in conditioner and I find it really helpful for my dry hair. So I spray that pretty generously through the mid lengths of my hair and really work that through, especially focusing on the ends where my hair is driest. And then I'm actually going to take this mousse from Living Proof, it's a thickening mousse, and I'm gonna work that again into those mid lengths of my hair. And I kind of rub my hands first when I do this so I don't get like a super foamy mess happening on my head. Rub it in with my hands and then just put that through the mid lengths of the hair. And um, this just gives a little bit of volume and then I take what's left and run it through the roots so that I'm focusing most of this in the middle. Then I'm going to take my argan oil <laughs> and have a little mishap with that. Again, I work this into the very ends of my hair. Um, this just really keeps the frizz at bay, which tends to be a problem with color treated hair. Then trusty blow dryer time. I'm really just rough drying my roots. You could round brush your hair if you wanted, which I may show you guys how to do at a later point. But for this video, my hair dryer is on its way out and I thought I would just show you me rough drying my hair. So this is what it looks like on natural. Then I'm gonna split my hair into two little bits. Um, upper half, lower half, I'm just gonna secure this out of my face because, well, you know, you gotta work in sections, make it a little bit easier. Next up, I'm going to take my flat iron and I'm gonna section off about one to one and a half inch sections of hair. This doesn't have to be any sort of perfect measurement, but I do like to brush it out before I start with the flat iron. Now this is the part that's gonna create that messy wave. So without clamping down on the flat iron, you're gonna bring the flat iron out away from the head and then you're gonna grab that piece that you just flat ironed while you bring the flat iron down to create another curve. And then you're gonna come down toward the end and I like to roll mine down. I know this seems really, really tricky, but essentially you'll see here in a second, you're just kind of creating this little S shape or ribbon shape with the flat iron. So that keeps things from getting too curly and just leaves things really messy and wavy. So again, you're gonna go up without clamping on the flat iron, grab that piece of hair, it just creates a little bit of tension while you pull down to create the lower half of the S. Now if you want straight ends on this, you could skip the last bit where I turned the curl down like that right there. And um, you could skip that if you wanted straight ends. I just find that I look better with a little bit more turned under curl. So that's totally up to you. We're gonna continue that all the way around the head. For the top half of my hair, I like to continue working in sections. So I'm just gonna take out a little piece of hair at a time and then I'm gonna clip the rest up. I'm gonna brush this out a little bit. Um, just kind of helps create a smooth starting point. I really focus on the ends where I get the most tanglage, unfortunately. And then you're just going to take the flat iron again. And the reason that you go up on the flat iron to start with, it really helps to create some really nice volume on your hair. So this is great if you have fine hair or you have a hard time keeping volume in your hair. That first initial going up with the flat iron and out really helps to add some volume to the hair. Another trick for really holding the curl in is to literally hold the curl after you've done it. This just kind of helps it cool down while it's in the shape that you want. Now with this look, I'm going to go for a center part. So that means I need that little bit of hair to go the right direction. And because this is messy, you can do little tiny sections here and there and get a really fun extra look. Looks great right now, doesn't it? Now I like to keep these front little bits of hair out and not do the wave technique on them. I think it looks better if you just roll this away from your face. So I'm just gonna take this and really just run the flat iron away from my face through that hair just to kind of give a more smooth appearance. And this will kind of flatten out throughout the day into a look, little bit more of a relaxed style, which I really, really like. So that's all of your curling done and here comes the fun slash simple part of this. You literally just want to break up that curl with your fingers. So any of those little waves that you've created, you just want to separate them, 
tossle them around and get them into a shape that you want. To kind of give this look a little bit more hold, I use a sea spray and this just really helps to texturize it and make the wave last a little bit longer and I just scrunch it up into my hair. Then I'm also going to take a texturizing spray, this is my favorite one from Eva NYC. And this really just, as you can see, gives tons and tons of volume. So you can use this throughout the week. This wave tends to last for several days on my hair. So if I use a volumizing product throughout the week, I can make this last for three, four days. And that's the look done. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Recently, she has started doing these story time videos where she uses Littlest Pet Shop characters to reenact scenes from her life.